ladies and gentlemen, coming up, I've been able to see this guy a couple times as well. He reminds me of Chipper Jones for some reason, but I don't know why. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Stephen! Yay! Thanks for that great introduction, Wes. You grab one of those moments where you go to uh, shake somebody's hand, and then they go to pound, and then you go to pound, and then they go to shake. Kind of feels like you're playing a retarded sideways game of paper, rock, scissors. Hey, you can play it off after a few times. You're like, whatever, man. Peace. I'm out. Shit. Scissors. All right, so I've been feeling old lately. I recently found out I was going to be a grandpa. That. that combined with uh, childhood TV celebrities dying really makes you feel old. I mean, Bob Barker hit me the hardest. The OG cock blocker. I mean, that one was pretty rough because I grew up watching all that. Suzanne Summers, her hot ass. Pee Wee Herman died. Okay, to be fair, Pee Wee Herman died in a terrible masturbation incident in 1991 in an adult movie theater. Okay, for all the youngins in here that don't know, people used to have to do whatever they could just to see people fucking. Like, they would go buy tickets, sit in a dark movie theater with strangers, and watch porn together. Okay. <laughs> Poor Pee Wee died doing what you know, I feel like he should have been doing. I mean, honestly, I think it would have been weird if he wasn't jerking off. I mean... Unless, you know, he was like, want him to take a picture and it'll last longer. <laughs> I know you are, and so am I. <laughs> or if he, or he was like, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I just wrote this yesterday, so. But yeah, so, uh, Pee Wee Herman died that night. Paul Rubin lived on. It was kind of like when uh, Miley, Saw Miley Cyrus killed Hannah Montana on live television, just twerking on Robin Thicke. Oh, people said Miley's crazy. They said Miley's on drugs. No, that was a murder, okay? She killed Hannah intentionally. Hannah Montana's last words were, fuck you, Dad. Who's got to go to work now? <laughs> hey, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Alabama recently legalized medicinal marijuana. Pills, oils, and suppositories. True story. Momo Ivy said, how bad do you want to get high? I mean, come on, Momo, just give us some art. Suppositories, though. But... It did kind of make me think. Were so many kids' medications in the 80s suppositories because they were just preparing people for all the molestering that was going on back then? I mean, I know this one. I knew a lot of people from back then, and many of them were molested. And it wasn't safe. A lot of these Catholic priests and Southern Baptists really misinterpreted the character rock and spoiled the child. <laughs> I love that joke. But I don't really know. Maybe they thought that um, if they if they got kids ready for it, it would be less traumatizing. If you had heard the words, get down on your hands and knees, it's time for your medicine. You'll feel so much better after I get this inside of you. <laughs> Now, if you're not laughing about that, it's probably because your parents, uh, missionary your suppositories, like leaned in and made direct eye contact while they... <laughs> and, and, and that shit will scar you. I mean, if that's the case, then I feel like you. <laughs> so, I'm single, obviously. My sense of humor, most people can't handle it. I actually had a date recently. We hit it off. Went back to my house. Got back in there. She pushed me on the bed. She said, relax and enjoy it. 
They say there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's, but there's a best way for a date to eat a fruit roll-up. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even really like her. But, uh, you know, and she, she set the bar way too high. Like, she was going to have to, like, eat gushers out of my butthole or something for the second date. But really, I feel like every sexual relationship should have to start with y'all rubbing each other off one time. And then spend the rest of the night together talking to see if you actually like each other. I mean, I really feel like it's a win-win. I mean, because, hey, if they give up and quit, you know, I mean, they're like, oh, my hand's cramping, oh, my arm's tired. I mean, you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. And I mean, look, on the bright side, women learn how to give hand jobs finally. It'll be a couple years and they'll just be double-handed and breaking out the Western grip. <laughs> And I mean, ladies, guys will finally be forced to learn where the clit is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, everybody.